through the invitation. That's what I was going to ask them. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to thank you for tuning in to watch us with the Community Development Board tonight. Uh, first, we will have our invocation by Mr. Steve Forney. Please, thank, thank you. you. Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together like this. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to use our knowledge, skills, and abilities to assist all others that maybe don't have the same quality of life we do. We ask you to give us sound judgment in our decisions, in your name, amen. Amen. Okay. We don't have a quorum right now, but we are going to go to, we can't adopt the agenda, so we have to do the reports. So Tracy, so Lily, would you enlighten us? Miss um, Grace, she's not here tonight, so, but I do want to report that activities to implement our goals and objectives are on schedule and ongoing. Um, CD has met our 1.5 timeliness requirement to spend HUD funds as required by HUD. And we are early this year. So we will continue to move forward and maintain compliance. I would also like to report, um, as far as our monthly reports, that we now have five active rehabilitation applications in process to include a refinance rehab loan. We have two home buyer applications in process along with nine demolitions projects pending. Um, as far as today, we had 201 Old Bridge Street come down today. So if you ride by Old Bridge Street, that old building in the front of the moving and, old moving and storage company. It's the Macaulay's place. It that, looks great. It has been torn down. Mm -hmm. So we just got to do a little bit more cleaning. Um, also want to announce that the next home buyer education class will be held sep Saturday, September 17, 2016 from 8 to 5 p.m. At, here at City Hall. Inter interested citizens should call 938-5286 to register and the cost is $10 each. Please register early because spaces are limited and will fill quickly. Finally, I would like to announce that the city was notified two weeks ago that we will receive funding from the North Carolina Department of Commerce to undertake the revitalization of downtown Jacksonville. The application was due today and it has been submitted and proposed projects are parking lot improvements to include crosswalks, access to the Freedom Fountain, a dog park, murals for buildings and the repainting of the rail car at Riverwalk Park. We'll be working over the next few months to spend the funds by March 2017. Um, as far as the Office of Livable Neighborhoods, I would like to report that work continues with the two pilot neighborhoods, Bayshore Estates and Belfort Homes. Staff recently toured Bayshore Estates neighborhood on Tuesday with the residents. Representative was CD to include code enforcement, public safety to include the police, uh, public services to include engineering and streets, and staff gathered concerns and reported the accomplishments and investments that were implemented in the area. Overall, the re residents were pleased with the outcome of city efforts. And that's all I have. So, yeah. Okay, would we have anything for uh, the city council consideration? Could we do that? I would like to bring one up. Okay. okay. And, and of course, now we've had two months of the summer, and uh, I'm fortunate because I am, in fact, a retired Marine with access to base. Okay. I do believe that Jacksonville City needs a swimming pool, not just a splash pad. They've had us hit with the splash pad. But I really think that we, in community development, should take a look at some revenue stream that can in fact do the bricks and mortar even though you know that the actual budget for all the personnel will have to come out of the general fund but i do believe it needs to be looked at whether we do it community development we get input from you know the the others but uh, there, there is a whole population of 70,000 people outside the gates of Jacksonville that can use a swimming pool. 
I would certainly support that wholeheartedly if I can make a comment because I, I watched more this time of the Olympic Games than I have in a number of years. Mm -hmm. And anybody who was watching knows, uh, I would say, we did extremely well, but in two areas in particular, gymnastics and, and swimming. swimming. And when I was watching the swimming, competitive swimming, I was thinking to myself, all of the, we have a population here, median age of 24 years old. It means we've got a lot of young people here. And uh, two things, interestingly, in another committee I sit on, some years ago we were looking at um, infant mortality rates, because that's always been an issue around Department of Health and Human Services about infant mortality in this state. Um, it's been an issue since 1990 moving forward and most of the time it's always been attributed to the same things poverty young mothers this kind of thing well one year uh, I would say by now it's probably been about 10 years we decided to instead of putting money into uh, programs and not really knowing whether it was needed or well spent we decided to kind of look at what the causes were I know this is digressing a little bit but it comes back to this issue and so uh, one of the members who was a pediatrician here in town, she took it upon herself to look at the previous two years of uh, infant mortality, which is zero to one year of age, deaths in this county, and the cause of death. And when she came back to report on her findings, it was a real shock. We weren't having children born and dying early because necessarily of young mothers or uh, these standard causes that you always think about. Our deaths were due to drowning. And when we sat there and she reported this, and she took this straight from death certificate data, it was a shock. And two points came out of that. Number one, you need to look at what you're funding before you fund it, because you may be funding things you think are uh, needs, and actually the cause might be someplace else. And we have a lot of young people here in this county who are not comfortable around water, got the ocean right over there, I'll point, which is way I'm pointing. And yet, we have very little opportunity for kids and young people to learn how to be comfortable around water. And with this drowning issue, and the other thing, again, was uh, we have no access. And so people would say, well, there's a pool on the base, base access. Uh -huh. Well, hotels have their private pools, check-in access. Courts Plus, membership access. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I wholeheartedly agree I think that we maybe want to take the initiative. Somebody needs to take the initiative to make this happen. We've talked about this for a while, but it keeps going back and forth to well funding, insurance, and so on. The older you get, the more you realize that there are simple answers to questions. Do we want to do this or don't we? If we don't want to do it, just take it off the table and leave it and throw it in the trash. If we do, the simple answer is yes. From that flows how to get it, how to find the funding, all the ancillary things, we can figure out how to make that happen, but we need to make a commitment to these young people that we will, there are communities around us that are smaller than this community and have neighborhood pools as part right. of the Parks and Rec. And uh, New Bern, Craven County is not as big as this county. Mm -mm. There are pools, oh, Goldsboro and Wayne County, all this, and we're still sitting here with no more progress than just throwing it out, I would, well, yeah. we can make a motion, now. My, I would certainly. My hometown in northeast Nebraska, of a little over a thousand people, has a swimming pool. Yes. Mm -hmm. My sister's hometown, also in northeast, you know, Laurel, Nebraska, has a swimming pool. Right around a thousand population. So What's on this picture here? Right. Yes. One. And, you know, during the summer, swimming lessons every morning. I absolutely. I, I so, uh, uh, what I want to do is put this out there to somehow get the ball rolling, get the discussion going, get the dialogue, explore the revenue streams. Okay. My hometown, uh, a small town, they've had a swimming pool for always, and it, it got destroyed uh, from some storm or something, so they've been without it for a while. Mm -hmm. And so they've been exploring some revenue streams like you just talked about. And I don't know the ins and outs of how this happened, but they got some type of a grant from some agency in Raleigh. 
Um, it was a pretty sizable grant. It won't pay for all of it, but if it matches what they'll have to pay, mm -hmm. I'll just have to ask my sister more details about mm -hmm. that situation. Mm -hmm. But I, like I said, I'm just thinking about all of the energy that I got, and I, I, I do not swim. I, you know, for various yeah. reasons, have never learned how to. I lounge. But, <laughs> uh, yeah. but to give kids but, that opportunity, yes. Uh, especially in light of what they saw, and they may sit and think, well, I don't have any place that I could even practice mm -hmm. to learn how to do or that. Or even mm -hmm. try out, or even uh -huh. see so, if it's possible. We need, we need to give mm -hmm. them a facility that, to have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about the issues of diversity, uh, when um, Simone, not Bile, because she was the uh, gymnast, she was gymnast. But Simone Manuel, yeah. Yeah. a first mm -hmm. African-American woman to gain a gold medal, individual medal, Swim. in swimming. Swim. And when I was growing up, I will be honest, the flat out statement was that black people don't swim. We can't swim. I mean, honest to goodness, oh, this is what I grew up hearing. And uh, even with the whys and the pools and so on. But here we are in 2016. She has made a huge impact. Mm -hmm. And not just her, but all of these young people. And you think about, you've got all the young people here. Uh, if you knew how to do it, you don't know who we might have living here. Right. That we and we've sent a lot of Olympians from North Carolina to a this lot. this uh, a lot of them from North Carolina to this Olympic Games, but this whole issue of swimming, uh, and I thought about the issue of the infant mortality and how uh, it was not the usual causes that our deaths were due to drowning, mm -hmm. and we really need to raise awareness, like you said, and you think about right now probably no time better than the present because we did make such a huge I'm a, use a pun splash <laughs> behind this mm -hmm. there's no time like right now to start saying yes we want to look at this what's going to be involved how much money are we talking about I don't believe for one minute if we had to do a matching grant this community wouldn't come up with that money in a heartbeat because you're always hearing about this issue of uh, young this, people this can tie in very well to uh, Ken Hagen's suggestion yes that you know yes part of the frontage of, of city properties be sold off commercially mm -hmm. and, and use the funds for self-improvement mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and recreational activities. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is a recreation. So, so, so if you here. would put that down and I, I'm willing to talk with uh, Lily at any time or okay. you know assist her in any yeah. any way possible. All right. Well, well I would like that. to formalize it. I would say, Madam Chair, since we have an additional member just came in, we now yes. have a quorum. Mm -hmm. And I would, if you want to make that a motion to uh, mm -hmm. I will certainly second it, or I'll do it either Put it in the form of a motion. Well, and I will. I, I, I motion that we aggressively look into the potential of getting a swimming pool in Jacksonville. I'll second that motion. Okay. All in favor? All in favor, yes. Aye. 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 Same sign. It has been moved and properly seconded that we would look into getting a swimming pool in Jacksonville. Not mistaken. Didn't Jackson really have a swimming pool one time before? I don't know. They said it. They did they before did. I came here. It was down by Jackson. 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 It was kind of like a membership situation. Oh, wait. There. You're talking about the one across from the library? It was down from the library. Yeah, it was down, down but it wasn't, and, and it wasn't to open it. public. It, that right. one wasn't. Oh, okay. It was kind of like a membership situation. It was. It was. It, it was uh -huh. and it something like a, Coastal Swim Club. It turned club. into a, like a skateboard place after that. Right, and then it's been filled in. Mm -hmm. But the one he's talking about, I have heard people who grew up downtown who are telling me that there, mm -hmm. went, there was a pool downtown. It was a pool downtown. Mm -hmm. really? mm -hmm. uh, right there by filled in after some point for mm -hmm. whatever reason. I didn't know even, I was trying to figure out where would it have been, yeah. but people that I know who were born and grew up mm -hmm. here in downtown are telling me there was mm -hmm. a pool. And you know, it possibly could have had damage after Hurricane Hazel, mm -hmm. you know, high water mark and like certain Hazel. problem areas. I came in 79, but that was long, was that was before. it would have been before. My first time here was in 77, okay. and, and there was nothing swimming pool wise in the community. Mm -hmm. But you talking about something nice with a swimming pool? You ought to see the one on down there on Brewston on Camp Lejeune. Yes, I know. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody my wife's been system. taking the grandkids there. And that pool is tough. Mm -hmm. Well, I take mine to the air station every day, and they build that new one. That too. That's where I take my grandson every day. I'm not doing anything for at least a couple hours so he can learn how to swim. Now, let me ask you this. I remember them tearing the one down on the air station right beside the road, right beside uh, Curtis, I think it is. Where Say that they, again? Where did they, they put it at? The one on the, the air pool? station. Okay, you go into the main gate. 
turn by the flight pad where they have all the helicopters. Take that road straight down, make a left, and you go straight down to the pool, past the housing area. Now, that one's open for everybody. That, that's the one they call the officer club pool. Mm -hmm. They are going to build a new pool, you know, so I, I don't know exactly where I the brand know, new yeah. one's going to mm -hmm. be. They didn't say But yet. there is going to be a new one at the air station. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that one is mm -hmm. really out there. Mm -hmm. It's state yeah. of the art. You can't beat it. Yeah. And they have lifeguards. You should see the kids they have there. They well, the one at Terrawood Terrace is really I mean, the nice. kids are yeah. one and yeah. two years yeah. old. Babies. I mean, ladies got their babies mm -hmm. learning them how to swim. And, and they have pools? their wristbands. Yeah, they're they are indoor they pools. Do. Yes, they're indoor pools. Mm -hmm. That's why I hope if we do get one, let it be an indoor pool. Mm -hmm. And then you can acquire one lifeguards and stuff. To, you know. And I know Greensboro has uh, built an aquatic center. So, and they have hosted the uh, trials, Olympic trials, were hosted in Greensboro. Ain't that something? So, you know, uh, you can be, if you make a commitment to it and you investigate it with the idea in mind, and everybody buys into mm -hmm. we're going to do this, now let's mm -hmm. figure out how to do it. And I, since he said aggressively, I'm glad you said that in your, in your uh, <laughs> motion because we've been talking about this for a while. Yeah. We need to approach this with the notion that we are going to do this. So now the next step yeah. is to find out how, how much, yeah. when, what, so we can get busy making this happen. Well, on that same subject, uh, Aiden Winterville mm -hmm. opened their aquatic center last month, a brand new state-of-the-art aquatic center. So I'm saying people will stop coming this way because they can go that way to get it. Because just like Kenson getting a new ball stadium, they're not going to be filtering into Jacksonville. We don't have anything to offer. So therefore, we're losing tourist money, we're losing all kind of things. And a lot of people are going to move out to these towns. And I did not know, and I'm from Greenville, that we had a skating rink, an ice skating rink, until my sister told me, in Greenville. Mm -hmm. Because my son wants to ice, my grandson wants to ice skate. So I said, see, there's a lot of things that we could do indoors, and they have numerous of a boys and girls club, one on like every corner. So we need something for the kids during the summer. Because in my neighborhood, they just walk the streets, so I just take my grandson to the pool. But like he said, everybody can't go on base. They're not base accessible. Okay. But I think sure, that's okay. a very we'll good statement. Do that. Uh, and now that we've already had one motion, and as far as we've got a quorum, we can have a quorum. I think we can go back if, to, uh, if everyone has everyone read, has I will make a motion okay. on it. Make a motion that talking. we get a quorum. I, I make a motion that the uh, July 7th minutes be approved. There's a correction. Oh. It says Paul, Paul Jones rather than Paula. Oh, okay. With the necessary correction? Yes. What page was that on? Oh. Uh, I don't okay. remember. I just remember seeing it. It's in that section about the production of office. Yep, got it. Page two of four. Very middle paragraph. Okay, I see it. Okay, I'm gonna circle that. That's a necessary correction okay. to be made. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, somebody make a motion. Okay, well, I will make a motion changes. as amended mm -hmm. that we approve the minutes. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Same sign? And okay. uh, Matt, well, we do need to adopt the agenda. Yeah, uh, we've got to well, adopt the agenda mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. But the agenda also has to be, uh, we're going to have some corrections on the agenda, so we, we need to amend the agenda also. We're going to postpone that. So we need to adopt it first, and then we're going to have to amend it and make a motion on it. Well, I would move that we uh, I think adopt we the agenda. We adopt right, the first. Some... Yeah. Uh, I talked with Lily earlier, as did right. you. Uh -huh. And she's putting off the planning right. board she's nomination. Not do that. Still, okay. yes. She's back in town. We have everybody here. To talk about that. Well, then I'll move that we adopt the agenda as uh, <coughs> amended. Okay. Yeah, we, we can do that. Yeah. Oh. Second. And I will second that. Okay, it's been moved and properly second that the amend, uh, I mean, the uh, agenda be adopted and amended. All in favor? Aye. 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 Same side. It has been moved and properly second that the amendment be approved and adopted. I did want to make one comment real quick about the Office of Livable Neighborhoods. Okay. We were talking about that before. Go back to and the I report. really would just like to, for the record, uh, give some 
props commendation, however you want to say it, kudos. to kudos, kudos to <laughs> Lily Gray and to uh, Carmela George. They have just been, because, you know, of course, I live here in downtown, and I do attend the uh, meetings. We've officially adopted our uh, bylaws. We have officers. We've elected uh, uh, street captains as well. And uh, it's been not a whole lot of time either, so this has not been a huge stretch of time since we've been doing this. And they have just been outstanding in getting us speakers and information. You ask a question at one meeting, they have the answer for you before the next one. Uh, it's really been good to work on because a lot of times when you get involved in these kinds of things, it takes you, you feel like it's taking you forever before you see anything going on. And when I say that you see work done, they have been, we put one thing out there about uh, sinkholes we've been having a problem because we were having standing water and the road, you know how it caves in. We brought that up at a meeting and I'm telling you, city of Jacksonville was out there. They've been all over the neighborhood for weeks now working on these and patching them up and so on. We had one a neighbor who had lost all of his lawn and seed and grass and everything behind the same problem. They were out there taking care of business and his lawn looks great. And uh, I mean, it's really been that quickly. And so I just want to really uh, say that uh, for anyone who's listening, that I know that we are pilots. Bellfork has been around for a while. Bayshore Estate has been a pilot right now. But if you all are living in a neighborhood and you're called upon to participate in a pilot, please do so because it will really be a good thing for wherever you live if you've got issues, questions. It's been the fastest way I have seen since I've lived here, lived here since 79, that actions that local citizens needed to have taken by the local city government have just been on the spot. So, um, well, I will make sure that they know. That I appreciate you that. Yes, give them their kudos yes, and, and thank. I will thank you uh, for doing that on their behalf. Mm -hmm. And again, anybody who's watching, if you are living in an area, and I guess if you are interested in having a neighborhood that might be the next project, right. and you can get your neighbors together, contact them down here. They might not want to take one on this fast, but. I think they're going to be focused on the older neighborhoods first. Okay. And then mm -hmm. they'll branch out and, and include all yeah. the neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. right now they're focused on the older neighborhoods. But if you called mm -hmm. on to see if you want to participate, please do so because it is well worth your time as a resident of the city. Yes. Right. And uh, kudos to Dr. Woodruff for empowering them to yes. do it. Yes. Okay. We had our item for the city council. So our items for the next agenda. Anyone want to think, want to see on the next agenda? The next one we're doing is a joint meeting. Is that correct? Right. That is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. So is there an, a pre-planned? I think um, you're all going to take a tour mm -hmm. with the environmental and, right. um, and appearance, appearance committee, committee. <laughs> but we do not have an agenda. An actual meeting that time. Right. It'll right. come in January. January. That'll yeah. be our next meeting. Yeah. Okay. But for them, it's yeah. September, October, November. November. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the this uh, the October 6th meeting will. It's going to be the joint meeting that's going to replace mm -hmm. your November 6th meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Because of the fountain. Because of the yeah, yeah. freedom fountain. Freedom yeah. fountain. Oh yes, yes. Remember, we have to mm -hmm. skip mm -hmm. that for the freedom mm -hmm. fountain. I'd like right. all the people to come out if you're and watching. Yes, mm -hmm. please do. Come please out. come out. Yeah. It's beautiful. Come out and watch the ceremony because it's really nice. And it's on a Sunday yeah. this year. On so the items Fair, for the, so. the next agenda, there will be none. You're going to hold them until well, that one right well, there to get as much as possible. Yeah, the swimming pool. Yes, okay. that, that one's okay. going to get some so feedback, some saying. sense mm -hmm. of where they are uh, okay. or, or what, what their opinions were or however you want to put it. But yes. Okay. We don't want that to get away from us. Do you say the fountain was November? It's six. September, you know, the 9 11 oh, observance. September. It's well, we be actually November 6th. No. I'm thinking about the wrong November 6th is our November 6th is it's going to be fountain. the Freedom, freedom fountain, fountain, but the fountain. next meeting will be October, October the 6th. And it's going to be at 4 p.m. Right. It's a joint meeting, Gordon, with the tour. Vacation and yeah, it's going to be a tour. A tour to see. October 6th. And, yeah. come up and with that's some on the ideas of what they can do for the city. Of today's oh, agenda. Yeah. It's on the back of Can we just come meet the here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, on the back of the agenda. Yeah, just mm -hmm. turn over. Mm -hmm. There it is, right there. Are there any other questions or comments for tonight? I would um, like to announce that we are accepting applications 
for the CDAT board, Community Development Advisory Board. Um, if you all, if anyone listening and um, viewing um, this broadcast, applications are being are available on the website, or you can call 938-5286. Currently, we have two vacancies. Uh, we also have some shadow member vacancies and leadership vacancies. So, um, if you want to become active in the community, please please apply. Thank you, Ms. Tracy. I have one other announcement. Uh, on behalf of the Onso Civic Affairs, uh, as you know, we have an annual commemoration and uh, remembrance of the 9/11 uh, right. event, and uh, we always do it on the day that it actually occurred. This year, it falls on a Sunday, right. so it will be on Sunday, September 11th. It will start at, I think we eight. want everybody seated at 8 o'clock in the morning because we start promptly at 8.15 eight, eight, when eight, it eight, actually eight, happened, right. the first one. And it concludes about 45 minutes total yes, time. Sir. And we have the, we'll probably have a, a more developed activities this time since it falls on a weekend. But we do ask people to come on out uh, since it is on a support. Sunday and just support it. And uh, because it is a beautiful ceremony to be present for and uh, you'd be surprised how much time has gone by. It's amazing. It but uh, please do attend if you can on uh, Sunday, September 11th, at 8 o'clock in the morning over at the uh, Memorial Park, Beirut right. Memorial. And for those who are watching, read your water bill, and it's the first item on your water bill to let you know the time and place for 9-11. And that way you won't forget. So please come out and please support your city activities because you're part of the community, so try and do what you can. Anything else? Before we... Uh, I move that the meeting be adjourned. Second. It has been moved and preferably second that this meeting be adjourned. And we want to thank everyone for having a nice meeting. I'm not going <laughs> to...